have our roster of experts here. The turkey guy, you go by that, right? Rocco Despirito. <laughs> author, <laughs> author of the Negative Calorie Diet. Tackling sides, we have Amanda Freitag, judge on shop. And our design doctor is former NFL player Eddie Jackson, yes. judge on the of the so uh, we have our turkey uh, on the football field as well, right? So that means Rocco, it's you, you're up. And we have a question from LaToya in our audience. So stand up and ask your question. What's a quick way to make my turkey if I don't have a lot Hi, of LaToya. space? Hi, LaToya. Hi. Great, how are so you? So if you don't have enough space in your oven, uh, first of all, take anything that doesn't need to be in the oven out, like the stuffing that you can make on your stovetop. Otherwise, you can cook your turkey on the stovetop. Real quick way, this takes 40 minutes, is a rolled breast of turkey. You wow. simply roll it, tie it up. Tie it up, goes into 180 degree olive oil, wow. Wow. and in 40 minutes you'll have a fully Is that cooked. Is kind of like a deep frying way to Well, do actually, like it's poaching. It's, it's 180 poaching. degrees, so it doesn't oh. absorb as much fat. Real gentle, and if you cook something in fat, you know it's not going to be dry, right? Right. For sure. <laughs> and you end up with this beautiful roulade of nice. turkey. That's right. amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's always leaving me like, I'm stuff. never going to do that. That's crazy. <laughs> give it a try. Give it a try. If Rocco, if Rocco says to do it, do it. You yeah. do All right, it. so we're looking at our play by play. Yes, and I believe we're going to have some. Uh, something coming up that says we Desserts. are on Eddie. Desserts. The show, by the way, Clash of the Grandmas. Yes. Eddie is a rock star, and Eddie, we have a question. It's a video question from Grace and Camille. Yes. Hit it, girls. Hi, Eddie. My mom and the oven are working overtime preparing turkey inside. Is there any other way we can help prepare desserts? Oh. Yes. Very good question. <laughs> Very good question. Get invited to a friend's house. Exactly. <laughs> I have an amazing crock pot, slow cooker, bread pudding. So easy. Ooh. Everybody say, ooh, yeah, you like that, right? Yeah. It's very, very easy. Thanksgiving, you have a lot of bread laying around. Turn into a bread pudding. This crock pot is set at four and a half, four hours on high. We're going to put our bread in. We have some dry cranberries, some raisins. We have a beautiful, another raisin lover. We have some pumpkin puree, a little cream, a little egg. Little, little love. And that's it. Dump it in, set it, and forget it. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Four and a half hours. So, okay. Four and a so half hours. It just takes a little bit of pre-planning. Anything exactly. in a crock pot. I know. Man, I it's love easy. that. All right, All right, Dan, you got your sides coming yes, up Yes, I've long said that. Anything in a crock pot. Um, Amanda, uh, <laughs> Claire has this question for you. I love mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, but I hate having to peel. Is there a recipe where I don't have to? Yes, and I don't like to peel potatoes either. It's just, it's time consuming and not fun. So I cook Plus them skin on, yeah. right? Yeah. Skin on, smash them up with the skin. I use Yukon Gold because the skin is much more tender. And that's it. Then they're ready. I use sour cream in my potatoes. Mm, nice. Yum. Scallion. And maybe even a little cheddar Ooh, cheese. What do you I think? Love it. It's Thanksgiving. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I love that you just got applause for saying the words cheddar cheese. <laughs> Phenomenal. And that's right. it. And they're ready to go. Don't even bother with peeling. Awesome. All right. Next up, I think we got the turkey for the football field. That means Rocco. And we have Hannah with a question in the audience. Um, is there any ingredient to add to my gravy to punch it up? Yes, of course. Um, so I'm all about health, except for my turkey uh, today. But, <laughs> right. but I'm going to make up for it in the gravy. So for, for my gravy, I like to use a little wild turkey. Pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. But then, but then to really punch it up and give you a little bit of nutrition, I take my protein powder and I thicken it with my protein powder. I make a slurry and I make a protein gravy. As a, as a, as a athlete, you can appreciate yes. that. You get two types of protein. I just want to note that the wild turkey got a bigger applause than the cheddar cheese. Yeah, yeah, probably. I think both. Both. Right? All right, Rocco, thank you. <laughs>